Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make millions of dollars very fast with the hangar this week in GTA 5 Online. If you didn't know, this week in GTA, the hangar is paying double money and if you do this trick that I'm going to be showing you in the video, you can be making yourself millions of dollars every couple hours. But before getting into it, if you do go to enjoy, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on the video and if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on another future GTA video just like this one. But without further ado, let's get into this amazing money guide. So getting straight into the money guide, like I said, there's only one thing that you need for this and that's going to be a hanger and luckily even if you don't have a hanger, you can actually buy one this week for 30% off. You can see the two cheapest ones that you want to buy are going to be down at the LSIA airport and you can buy one for $840,000 or you can buy the one next to it for a million dollars. Of course, I'm pretty sure you already know which one you should buy, the one for $840,000. Anyway, once you do own your hangar, what you need to do next is simply enter inside of it. Once inside the hangar, now make your way upstairs and then sit down at your chair. Once you're sat down on the chair, now click A to log into your computer. And once you're logged in, now come up here to where it says source. And the only ones that you want to source for this specific money guide is going to be the jewelry and gemstones and also art and antiques only these two these are the only two you want to do i repeat the only two you want to do anyway whenever you're ready now you just want to click select on any one of those two that i showed and now click confirm we're now going to be in a source crate mission to get a crate for our hangar business now most hangar crate missions are super simple to do you literally fly over to a destination pick up the crate and then bring it back over to your hangar it's literally that simple you're rarely going to get the hard missions and if you get the hard missions you can literally just find a new session go back to your hangar Hanger, wait a minute and then start it over again and get an easy one anyway luckily for this one it was an easy one most of the time you're gonna get an easy one you can see all i had to do is fly over to this construction site blow up a whole bunch of people pick up a crate and now once i picked it up i just have to fly it back over to my hangar and i'm literally done with the mission after that most of these hangar crate missions take anywhere from five to ten minutes but when you get these easy ones it can take from three to five minutes so yeah you shouldn't get any hard ones and you should get mainly easy ones as long as you're doing this solo like I was doing you can see there is my first delivery and each individual crate in the hangar individually is worth $45,000 so you're technically making $45,000 every five to ten minutes while doing this money guide but when we sell it at the very end we're gonna make a lot more money than you would think which I'll show you at the very end of course now after doing one crate mission you'll notice that when you come over to source there's gonna be a timer or a wait time before you can do it again so this is when you're gonna want to select the other option that I told you so if you do the jewelry and gemstones first you can after do the art and antiques and if you do the art and antiques first you can do the jewelry and gemstones after you basically just want to alternate those two and those two only because at the very end when i sell like i said i will show you then i don't want to really spoil it right now anyway you can see once again i'm doing another crate hanger mission and this one was very simple a really cool tip to keep in mind while doing these hanger sell missions by the way is if you ever have a vehicle or airplane that you have to deliver you can actually blow up whatever that vehicle or airplane is and it's going to drop a crate and then you can use whatever your personal vehicle is that you have to then pick up that crate and then deliver it over to your hangar. This, of course, is only going to be really handy if you have like an annoying vehicle or airplane that you don't want to deliver all the way over to your hangar. You can then blow up that vehicle or airplane, pick up the crate and then deliver it over to your hangar. Of course, this wasn't really too good of an example because that plane that I was just showing you wasn't too slow. It's probably just the same speed as the Sakula. But either way, it is a really cool tip to use while you're doing these hangar crate missions. So yeah, when you're doing these hangar crate missions, make sure you're doing the jewelry and gemstones and then right after doing the art and antiques and keep doing that back to back to back until you get 10 crates for the jewelry and gemstones and 10 crates for the art and antiques, which actually isn't that much. That should only take you about one hour or one hour and 30 minutes to get, which is a total of 20 crates. Anyway, once you do have those 20 crates in total, 10 for your jewelry and gemstones, and 10 for your art and antiques, if you want to get a big sell bonus, I recommend putting yourself in a public session with over 20 people, but if you don't want to get that big sell bonus, you can just sell an invite only session and walk away with the regular amount that it tells you. Anyway, whichever way you want to sell, what you want to do next is go inside your hangar and then go over here to where it says sell. And of course, make sure you have your 10 crates for your jewelry and gemstones and click right here where it says sell. As you can see, we're going to be getting a little bonus, which is a 12% bonus. And that's only going to give us a bonus because we have 10 crates 
for that Jorian Gemstones, which is a cool trick that you can use this week to get a pretty good amount of money while selling, because of course, this trick isn't that hard to do. You only need to get 10 crates for the Jorian Gemstones, which isn't that hard to do. And as you can see, when you're doing the sell mission, it's only gonna be one aircraft, which is the best part about this money guide. You don't have multiple aircrafts. You can actually only do it by yourself. Now you don't have to do it by yourself. Of course, you can see right now, I have a friend in the session with me, but he really wasn't doing anything. Cause like I said, there's only one aircraft that you're using for these cell missions. But yeah, once you complete your aircraft cell mission, it's pretty simple to do usually. You'll then get paid your huge amount of money, which is going to be the amount that I told you when you sold it. As you can see right here, the amount that I got was $761,000, which is around $200,000 more than it originally told me I was going to get. And of course, like I said, the reason I got that huge amount of money is because I got that bonus money from selling in a public session with over 20 people in it. Keep in mind, I was selling this solo and nobody really bothered me, so I don't really know if it's that big of a deal if you sell in a public session this week with the hangar, because I really wasn't running into any issues. Anyway, now we have one more to sell, which is going to be the art and antiques. Like I said, you need to get 20 crates in total, and you can see we have a 12% bonus for that one as well. So now click confirm on the sell mission for that one, and it's now going to put us in the next sell mission. Like I said, it's only going to be one aircraft, which is also the case for this one as well. And I'm sure you saw with the first sell mission, I really wasn't explaining it that much because it was literally so simple, but these sell missions are super simple and easy to do. For this second one that I'm doing right now, all I have to do is drive to five different locations and literally click right d-pad when I make it to each one of those locations, which drops off the package. And after I do that, I just have to drop off the airplane back over to the hangar. It was literally that simple. Here's an example of what I was doing. Literally, like I said, you just have to fly over these checkpoints right here and then hit right d-pad to drop off the cargo. And I have to do that for five different spots. And like I said, I was doing this in a public session as well. And surprisingly, I didn't run into any issues. I did have one friend with me, but he didn't even have to defend me at all. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. I actually ran into a subscriber in this lobby, fun fact, while selling, which is kind of cool. But yeah, anyway, like I said, after I delivered to all five of those locations, I then had to drop off the plane over here to my hangar, and then I get paid the amount of money, which is the huge amount of money that you get paid for selling those 10 crates with the 12% bonus. Keep in mind, I did get another bonus on top of that because I sold in a public session with over 20 people. But yeah, $761,000 is how much money you're going to be getting if you sell 10 crates with the jewelry and gemstones or the art and antiques in a public session and like i said you most likely won't run into any problems while selling this week because i personally didn't have any problems and i don't imagine you having any problems as well because when you're doing these sell missions like i showed in the video you're only having one sell vehicle and you're going to be in that sell vehicle so you have full control of these sell missions so you should be completely fine while selling in public sessions but even if you are scared you can always just sell in an invite only session and walk away with the normal amount that it showed you anyway like i said that's going to be the end of today's video hope you guys did want to enjoy if you did want to enjoy today's video make sure you do me a favor and drop a like and also hit that subscribe button and that's it for me i will see you all in my next video peace